principles of spreader applications. These same rules and principles we're going to go over can apply to cutters and basically what we're going to focus on is making sure that we're maximizing tool placement so that we're not getting a lot of slippage and we're not making a lot of unnecessary movements, sweeps, or closes with the tool. So the key to this is understanding the, the arc or the swing of the blades or the tips and making sure that we're managing the base or the handle of the tool so that the tips don't slip. So we're going to do a quick demonstration here on this fender. We're going to grab it and we're going to squeeze. The basic premise behind this principle is this. When I put this tool in place, if this tip continues to slip off of the material that I'm trying to move, so if I'm posting here and pushing here and this tip keeps slipping, I need to take the base of the tool and I need to swing it towards the slip point. If this tip continues to slip, then I'm going to take the base of the tool and I'm going to swing it towards the slip point. It sounds pretty simple, but when we are out in the field and we're practicing, you'll consistently see guys struggle with maintaining the position of their tips and not just making false movements. So we're going to come over here we're going to grab this fender and just kind of illustrate some of this. So if I want to compress this fender uh, to create a gap around the, the hinge points on the door, as I squeeze this, I am in control of the angle of this tool. Uh, as I start to squeeze, if this tip slips, then I know that I need to take the base of the tool and bring it up more. If the bottom tip encroaches in and this tip grabs, then I need to swing the opposite direction. So immediately the top tip has slipped and I don't have enough angle to get a good grab point here. So I'm going to open back up. I'm going to change my angle and you can see now I've boomed the base of the tool up much higher. Just by making that simple adjustment, I went from an ineffective squeeze to an effective squeeze. Now we can come and we can apply the same principle to a spread. So as I work into this gap on the door, I'm going to analyze which way I want that fender panel to swing and how I want it to swing. So if I come into this gap right here, I can control the base of this tool being in towards the vehicle or out away from the vehicle. All of these applications are going to drive the arc of the push and how that fender is going to peel out as well as whether or not my tips stay in the right position. So by positioning well with a good push point and no slippage and maximizing the direction that I want to skin as opposed to coming in here just trying to pry this off laterally, I got a complete compression of the fender panel with one movement. The goals with all of our tools should be to generate the response we want in as quick of a timely fashion with as little of changes or repositions as possible. So quick guiding points on, guiding points on just tool placement tip application and maximizing your tool efficiency.